Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back into the video today, and today we're going to be previewing the Houston Rockets draft lottery for tonight, as the NBA draft lottery is tonight, and the Houston Rockets, as a Rockets fan, and, you know, making Rockets content, this is a huge night for our Houston Rockets H-Town, and this can decide our future, and we've said that for the last couple years, and, you know, this one is serious, Jalen and Jabari were great, and they're going to be great. But I think this one, this one right here is the final is could be the final touches, whether you maybe get the first overall pick or you get the second overall pick. And I'm not going to go over three because, yes, there is a chance the Rockets can get three, four, five or six. And I'm not I don't want to talk about that. But I should note that um, the Rockets are guaranteed a top six pick. You won't see the Rockets go higher than six. They can't, they can't get seven, eight, or nine. They're guaranteed a top six pick tonight. So I'm only going to talk about one and two because I don't want to view what happens if, if we get more than two. Yes, there's a possibility. And yes, there is possibly a decent chance that could happen. But right now, I want to focus on one and two. If you get Scoot Henderson, Scoot Henderson, you finally have that point guard. You pair him next to Jalen Green, you got a sick guard duo. Yeah, it's good Henderson to give Jabari Smith Jr. wide open looks and some of the other shooters coming in. Scoot Henderson and Jalen Green would be an amazing uh, guard duo. And then with all the other players added in, it's a great team. Now, Victor, I think the Rockets would be really good with both Victor Wimbenyama and uh, and Scoot Henderson. We'd rather want Ben Wimbenyama, who's just going to change everything for our team because he's a beast. He's seven four. He can shoot. He can block. He's an amazing shot blocker. He's an amazing rebounder. He has. He's athletic uh, for a seven. For he's very athletic for someone who is seven four. Um, only thing that concerns me is some injury problems he's had over the past. But I think we'll manage it. It's not like Zion. I mean, Zion has had some horrible injury. I think. I don't know. It, I've heard some comparisons to Zion just because of the injuries, but and and you know, the people think Quinby will get injured like Zion. I don't think so. Maybe a couple injury problems, but I don't think it'll be as bad as Zion. Zion has this is Zion is it's been bad with injuries, really bad, and so yeah, Quinby will change everything for the Rockets. He'll be amazing if you get the first overall pick. But yes, it's going to be sad if we don't get the first overall pick. But if we get two. It's still really good. It's not like, like if Wimby was not in this draft, let's just say Wimby waited another year, Scoot Henderson would be going one, um, and it wouldn't even be a you know you wouldn't even have to decide. Yes, if you get one, you're definitely taking Wimby, but with the, with the with with, you know, with if Wimby wasn't in this draft, you know it would be the same thing. You know if Wimby wasn't in this draft. You'd be definitely taking Scoot Henderson, and you there's no decision you have to make about it. So Scoot Henderson is very talented. Wimby Binyama is just a little bit better and might have a better impact right off right off the bat. And I think both are going to be great NBA players, but I think Rockets fans and me included would probably prefer Victor Wimbenyama. But yeah, let's get into uh, the Rockets' percentage chances tonight. Rockets have a 50.1% chance to get in the top four. And they, you know, it, the, yes, they, they have a 52% chance to get in the top four, but they they can't even go over six. It's either six, it's either six or six to one. They're not going to go over six, like I said. Um, and then they have a 14% chance to get the first overall pick, which is, tied for the most odds with the Pistons and the Spurs. And then the same thing with the 52 per 52. So, but all the pis the Pistons, the Rockets and the Spurs all have a 52.1% chance, and then all the Pistons, Spurs and Rockets all have a 14% chance to get their first overall pick. So, yeah. Getting into the Rockets representative for tonight. New head coach Ime Yadoka will be representing uh, the Houston Rockets in the draft lottery. Excited. Excited to see Ime Yaduka maybe wearing maybe a Rockets logo on his on his shirt, possibly tonight, uh, for for the Rockets. And really excited. Hopefully he brings us some good luck. But that's really all you need to know. Starts at seven o'clock. Uh Rockets have a fifty two point one percent chance to get in the top four, a fourteen percent chance to get the first overall pick. They cannot get over the six, so they they they're guaranteed a top six pick in this year's draft. And also, their representative is Ime Yadoka. 
So I'm really excited, Rockets fans. You guys have your thoughts. And also, I will be live tonight. I will be live uh, live streaming my reaction to the NBA draft lottery. So if you're, you know, if you're on here, come, you know, watch it with me or you don't, you know, like come, come watch and, and comment and whatever. So I'll be live, uh, don't know, kind of like a watch party stream for the NBA draft lottery. So, you know, come, come and join. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and peace out.